Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to automatically share ebooks on receiving Insta Mojo payment. So, I am selling my ebooks with the help of Insta Mojo, which is an amazing payment gateway. And now, my objective is that as soon as I am going to receive a payment by the customer through Insta Mojo for the ebooks, I want to send the PDF of that same ebook through email to that same customer. So, how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to set up a connection between Insta Mojo and Gmail, and that we are going to do without. any coding or programming skills with the help of pabli connect so pabli connect works on two principles trigger and action so in trigger we are going to take insta mojo and in action we are going to take gmail and we will connect both of them to automate this entire process very easily and to learn this entire automation step by step let me take you all to my screen In this video, we are going to learn how to send ebook automatically to the customer on Insta Mojo payment. So I am selling my ebooks with the help of Insta Mojo, and my objective is that as soon as the payment will be received for that ebook, automatically the PDF of the ebook should be sent on email to the customer. Okay, for that I am going to create an automation by setting up a connection between Insta Mojo and Gmail, and that I am going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of this amazing automation software, Pabli Connect. So this is the home page of Pabli Connect. Where we can reach by tapping this URL, pabli.com/connect in our browser. After coming over here, we can find two options: sign in and sign up for free. So, if you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on the sign up for free button to create your free new account. Also, when you will create your account, you will get hundred free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, as an existing user, I'm directly clicking on sign in. This is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect, where we can find all of our workflows which we have created, and we can also create different folders over here to save our workflows accordingly. Now, to create a new workflow, we have to click on this Create Workflow option. So let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear, which is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Automatically share e-books on receiving Insta Mojo payment. After giving the name here, I'm going to select the folder in which I want to save this workflow. So I have already created a folder with the name as Insta Mojo Automations. I have selected that, and now let's click on Create. As we have done that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger, and the other is action. So as I already told you, that Pabli Connect works on these two principles. So basically, these two are the main concepts or the building blocks on which the entire automation works. The trigger says when this happens, and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow, and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now let's suppose we are going to take Insta Mojo in our trigger and Gmail in our action. And our objective is that whenever we are going to receive the payment for e-books through Insta Mojo, we want to send the e-book PDF to the customer through Gmail. So here we can clearly see that action is following what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens, that means when the payment is received in Insta Mojo, then only the email is sent along with the e-book. Otherwise, no. So after understanding this concept, let's start creating the workflow step by step. First of all, let's select our trigger application, and that is Insta Mojo. So Let's select that, and now we have to select the trigger event. Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start. So new sale will be our trigger event over here because whenever a sale will be made, automatically the response of that sale will be captured over here, and with that response, the workflow is going to trigger automatically. Now as we have done that, we can see that a webhook URL is provided to us along with some instructions. So we need to follow these instructions step by step and very carefully in order to connect our Insta Mojo account with Pabli Connect. So first of all, let us copy this webhook URL, which is going to act as a bridge for sending the Data from Insta Mojo towards Pabli Connect, and then I'm going to take you towards my Insta Mojo account. So this is the product that means Java ebook which I want to sell, and I want that on the purchase of this book the response should be captured in Pabli Connect. For that we have to connect this particular product with Pabli Connect. Okay, so for that we have to come towards the product section in Insta Mojo, and then we have to select our particular product. Now I'm going to select my Java ebook. And here we will find the option of advanced. So let's select that. After coming on advanced option, here when we will scroll down, you will find the option of webhook URL. So in this field, we have to paste the URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect. I'm going to delete the existing URL from here, and now I'm going to paste the new URL which we have copied recently from Pabli Connect. And now we have to click on save. As we have done that, now we have connected this particular product, that means Java ebook with Pabli Connect. So let's go back towards Pabli Connect. Here it is showing waiting for webhook response. This means that now we have to do a test submission. How we are going to do that by making the payment for the book. And as soon as we will make the payment, that means as soon as we will make a purchase, the response of that will be captured over here in Pabli Connect. 
सो नाउ वेन वी हैव कनेक्टेड अवर जावा ई बुक विद बैबली कनेक्ट लेट्स जस्ट परचेज दिस दिस इज माई जावा ई बुक वंस अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू सेलेक्ट दैट एंड आई एम गोइंग टू क्लिक ऑन दिस व्यू ऑन स्टोर ऑप्शन दिस इज द चेकआउट पेज ऑफ जावा बुक सो आई एम गोइंग टू क्लिक ऑन बाय नाउ and here i'm going to enter the details to purchase this ebook and because i'm doing a test submission just to capture the response in public connect therefore i'm going to enter all the dummy details over here let's start with the name let's say the first name of the customer who is purchasing this ebook is smart here i'm going to enter the last name user smart user here i'm going to enter a random email address okay and a random phone number after entering all the details i'm going to click on review and pay and now i'm going to make the payment so i'm going to select upi option to make the payment and here i have made the payment so the payment is successful now let's go back towards public connect and here we can see that as soon as we have made the payment in insta mojo for the ebook here we have received the response in public connect in the response we have received all the details this is the status that means credit that means the payment is received this is the purpose order id this is payment request id here we have also received the payment id and the long url that means the payment link with the help of which the payment is received so this payment link indicates that the payment is received for java ebook okay so the product name is already given over here now we have also received the currency that is inr phone number of the customer name of the customer as well as the email address and the amount so this means that our connection between insta mojo and public connect is successful now whenever ebook will be purchased through insta mojo automatically the response will be captured over here along with all the details now whatever objective is we want to send the ebook to the customer who has purchased it okay so for that we have to use gmail i want to send the ebook through gmail therefore i'm going to connect gmail as our action application let's select our action application as gmail over here and now we will select our action event so our action event will be send email we will click on connect and because i have already built the connection with my gmail account therefore i am going to go with existing connection for now but to create a new connection you have to go with add new connection and then you have to click on this connect with gmail as you will click on save your connection will be successful but you have to keep in mind that you have to log into the applications before making the connection so that your authorization will become successful very easily now let's click on save and here my gmail account is successfully connected with public connect so we will move further after building the connection we have to enter all the details to send the email to the customer first of all we have to enter recipient email address that to whom we want to send this email we want to send this email to the customer who has purchased ebook through insta mojo and we have already received the email address of that customer in our earlier response so we will simply use mapping mapping is inserting data from previous step here our previous step is given and here are all the details we want to map the email so let's select that and it is mapped when we have mapped this email it has become dynamic that means with each and every new response it is going to be replaced now so whenever a new purchase will be made for the ebook through insta mojo automatically this email is going to be replaced with a new email of that new buyer and in this way we are going to automate the entire process of sending ebooks to each and every customer okay now the next is the sender so what should be the name of the sender here i am going to enter the name of my book store that is knowledge book stores this is the name of my store now here we have to enter the email subject we are sending java ebook to the customer therefore i am going to enter the subject as java script ebook and because i have entered email subject as well as the sender name manually by typing this means that now it is not going to change with each and every new response because it has become static now okay the next is email content type it will be plain and here we have to enter the content of the email which you want to send so i am sending this email to the customer who has purchased the ebook so i'm going to give the name of that customer over here hello this is the name which we have received smart user we have mapped that and in this way i'm going to send the customized email to each and every customer of mine now i'm going to enter the content as hello smart user thank you for placing the order of java ebook your payment is successful and we are attaching the pdf link of your ebook thanks and regards knowledge bookstores okay so this is the basic content which i'm going to send but you can definitely customize the content in more creative and customized format according to your choice now the next we have to enter is the most important thing file name and the attachment so here we have to enter the name of the file which we are sending along with this email we are sending java script ebook so this will be the name of my file and here we have to attach the link of that file that means the link of the ebook so this is my ebook which i want to send okay java script ebook and i'm going to attach the link of this particular ebook here in this field so i've attached the link and now let's click on save and send test request button as we have done that we have received the response and in the response it is given that the message is sent so let's go and check on the email address which we have mapped over here whether the email is received along with the ebook or not 
and yes here we can see that the email is received javascript ebook i'm going to open this this email is from knowledge book stores hello smart user thank you for placing the order of java ebook your payment is successful and we are attaching the pdf link of ebook this is the email and this is the pdf this means that our workflow is perfectly successful so let's just check this workflow whether it is running perfectly fine or not after building the connection between insta mojo and gmail what i'm going to do i will just quickly made another payment in insta mojo for the same ebook and as soon as we will do that automatically an email will be sent to the new customer who is making this payment along with the ebook pdf okay so we will go back towards insta mojo here i'm going to click on view on store once again and i'm going to make the payment for this ebook once again with all new details this time let's say this time the name of the customer is demo and the last name is user here i'm going to enter a random email once again and a random phone number okay now i'm going to click on review and pay and as soon as i have made the payment and it is also successful so let's go and check whether the email is received for this demo user or not and yes here we can see that instantly and automatically without manual efforts the email is once again received this time the email is for demo user and this is the attachment of the ebook this means that our workflow is running perfectly fine so we have successfully built a connection between insta mojo and gmail in such a way that now whenever the ebook will be purchased from insta mojo automatically the ebook attachment will be sent to the customer through gmail so this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of pabli connect now if you have any doubt you can reach out to us at support@pabli.com at if you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issue you can reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful do not forget to share it with your friends and also please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations